one. Fire two, fire three. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon vault. Duck's wheel! I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now just one more path to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity. one by back and build. Gizmo Duck's helmet! Ugh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Huh, I hope it's not too late. Onward and upward. get rich by being foolish. Yeah. We're in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I uh I think I left my favorite two-dollar bill under the back seat. 
<laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, oh, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmo Duck. Now... Ah, Flintheart Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck. Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! my back and doom. Mirth and be merry! 
I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat. Nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's going to make me. Boys, all five treasures are mine. <laughs> uh, boys? <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flint Heart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough. But these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, MacDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, hi. You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> Magic a dispel! Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm! Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon! They sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Like a Rudy, Uncle Scrooge, I can't move. Me neither. Now I know how a statue feels. Eh, greedy old fools. These treasures are far more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake Von Bloodstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spells to summon him. Bah, 
What rubbish? You will see. With power of Dracula Duck under my command, I will rule the world. <laughs> Unless, uh, you'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. Will save me a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bite. The first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Hey, Dims is our hostages. Find your own. Quiet, piggle boys. <laughs> now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home and Mount Vesuvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Snackula for Dracula! Yeah! <laughs> oh dear, sometimes I still get carried away. That lousy, no good so and so. I stole those treasures, fair and square. This is no time for bellyaching, Glomgold. I've got to save those boys. Pah, forget it. That she-devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Ah, uh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Ha! <laughs> Without your dime... I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has-been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability, and I'm going to be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head! Now remember our deal, Flinty. Help me rescue the lads, and the treasure is yours. You keep up your end, and I'll keep up mine. Way through. Put your back into it, McDuck! Hurry up, Glumgold! Time is money! It could be dangerous, McDuck! You go first! Oh, no, you don't! I didn't get to be number one by back and doom! Up. I'm growing old, just not as old as you. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. Home run.
money for me money pen. like you are. Quit complaining. Before duty, plenty. Really lost my hat on that one. Has took you long enough to catch up. What's the matter? Gold bricks in your caboose? Oh, shut your beak. You're not getting any younger yourself, you old windbag. Hush! Magica may not know we're here yet. We don't want to lose the element of surprise. So... You have decided to deliver dime after all. <laughs> Release my nephews, you evil enchantress. Oh, not until you show me number one dime. Here it is. Now let the boys... What? It's been great doing business with you, Scroogey. <laughs> you too. <laughs> You've been in cahoots from the beginning. No, even before beginning. Do you remember who sold your painting in first place? Twas me in disguise, you fool. Why, you... No wonder it was such a bargain. Five dollar painting for you saved expensive treasure hunting expedition for me. And now, at long last, I am ready to use treasures to complete spell. Enough with the smoke and mirrors routine. You've got my dime. Now release the lads. Oh, boo-hoo. No time for buyer's remorse from old has-been. Better to stick with master plan. Is much more exciting. I now summon Dracula Duck. 
behold! Dracula Duck, I, Magic of the Spell, have summoned you to do my bidding. You must obey my will and mine alone. <laughs> and my will is that you destroy this meddling old fool. And guy like man. Breath is worse than his bite. It's a fearing old bat. Crush him now. Bite his neck. Let's good be Boys, I'm so glad you're all right. We knew you'd save us, Uncle yeah, we knew you yep, would. we sure did. Down that hall, lads. Launch pad will be waiting to take you to safety. What about you, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, the whole place is falling apart! Magic and Glumgold still have my number one dime, and I'm not leaving without it. You boys get going. Good, Good luck, Uncle Scrooge. Scrooge! Good luck, Uncle Scrooge! Now, give me dime. Not till you give me those treasures. I want to be filthy, stinking rich. You already are filthy, stinking rich. But not as rich as that Chiseler McDuck. Where's the treasure? No more horseplay. I need that dime. Oh, no, you don't, Missy. Ah, let go, you fool. Not till I get that treasure! Nice 
Nice try, Magica, but I'll be taking my dime with me back to Duckburg. <laughs> Have a lovely time together. Onwards and upwards. My number one dime returns safe and sound. But Uncle Scrooge, well, what about the treasure? Yeah, we had it and we lost it. Sorry, Uncle Scrooge. Come on now, boys. We may not have got to keep the treasure, but we had the adventure of a lifetime. And best of all, we got to share it together. You, Webigale, Launchpad. And Epworth, too. Don't forget about Mrs. Beakley. And Baba. And Fenton. And Shiro. They helped us, too. <laughs> Indeed they did, lads. Now come on. Let's head for home. <laughs> <laughs>